Hey y'all, so I'm finna do my nails. I probably look crazy right now, but whatever. Um, I just got home from my grandma's house and I ordered all of this stuff because I had a nail girl that was finna come to my house and do my toes and stuff, but she flaked and she didn't come. So, cause if y'all don't know, they said, they said Georgia under, Georgia under the in shelter, uh, stay in shelter, um, thingamajig. So she said she was preparing for that or whatever, but if I, it will me, since we can go out to the grocery store or whatever during the in shelter thing, I would have been out making my coin for my last day at work, but that's just me though. That's just me. But today what I bought, I bought a bunch of stuff and I don't even, I only have a receipt for what I bought from Walmart. I don't have what I bought from CVS, which is the main stuff. So I really can't tell you how much the price is. I can guesstimate, but I don't know for sure. So right here, and like I said, please don't mind me. I just spurred a moment. I was going to do this while recording, but I was like, just let me record because whatever. So right here I have focus focus on me okay so i have a kiss power foul to go so this is just like a drill that i look at my lashes got my lashes done i did not do these like i usually do uh i went to somebody and she did a really good job but i just bought this drill so we're gonna see what it's talking about and this was 10.99 i believe and then this kit right here is a kiss nail kit i want to say it's like 16 dollars Maybe a little more, maybe less. I'm not sure. It's around that range. More than 15, but maybe less than 20. So, But it says you get up to five uses, so it's really cheap. I have some pure 100% acetone. This is probably the best like nail polish remover you can use because, in my opinion, other nail polishes don't get everything off. Acetone going to remove acrylic. Acetone going to remove glue acetone go acetone removes everything if it's 100 pure acetone which this is so if you if you were me and i was you and i'm not i'm not i'm not even gonna say that right but just get you some 100 acetone if you're gonna do your nails at home next um i just bought this because i'm gonna do my toes as well toes are pretty much easier than doing nails so i'm definitely not gonna do my nails with my toes on camera <laughs> I might just show y'all a picture of them or something. But I just bought this little clip, this little kit that I saw. And it just comes with the separators. Um, some type of, I think this is pedicure stuff right here. Nail cutters and all of this. So that's real good. I just bought some extra fouls just in case I might have to, you know, touch myself up. Don't know how long this is going to last. I bought some new tweezers. This was just for wigs or something. So that can go over there. And then for my polish colors, y'all know me. Y'all know I'm a simple gal. Don't require much for me. I bought a white. And I bought a pink. Just in case I want to switch it up. And this is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the color pink. Pink blink. And white on time. Y'all excuse my lip. I've been biting my lip for some reason. i just been anxious a lot lately so i've been biting my lips so please excuse my lip like i don't completely demolish my lip and then i just got this shiny top coat because i seen that it said gel on it and y'all know i always get gel polish so i was like just let me get this i don't know how good it's gonna work and then sally hansen um this says dries instantly let's hope it does just got some q-tips and cotton balls just in case i need them and also, oh, I have this nail dryer. Someone actually gave this to me for Christmas. I can't remember who, but it says nifty for her. And I gave it to my mom because I never do my own nails, but who would have knew COVID-19 would come and change our lives. So I took this back from her, put some batteries in it, and it's actually a pretty fast dryer. So I like that, like that, love it. I don't know how much it was though, so that's the only thing. But I'm definitely going to change the angle because you don't have to really look at me to see me do my nails. And I want y'all to say, I also want to say excuse my nails. But yeah, so I'm going to kind of have y'all over so y'all can see what's going on. So I'm definitely familiar with the process of how nails work. Being the fact that I took cosmetology, we had a section where we focused on nails. 
So I'm really familiar with the process. And I also get my nails done pretty often. So, and I make sure I watch. One thing I really do is watch when I get my nails done. So that's how I learn how to do hair. That's how I learn how to do everything is by watching. So. That's how I learned how to do everything is because I pay attention and it just makes me get better at things, lashes, hair. That's how I perfected my frontals and stuff because I pay attention when somebody's doing my hair. I don't just lollygag, look around, I pay attention. Who is open up the drill kit. Somebody texted me on Snapchat and said it's trash, but everything i'm using is trash so whatever but i'm gonna open it up all batteries okay so i got it working Most likely gonna be using Okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do first is to clean my nails off with some alcohol. And my fingers in the area. And I'm gonna open this up. And under they have it stored. That's cute. So first thing I'm gonna do is roughen my nails. So the nail tip can adhere to my natural nail better. So I'm just filing my nail a little bit. So I'm just gonna measure out my nail tips. And I'm just doing everything that I see my nail tech do, what I seen the Asians do. And I'm contemplating on what kind of set I'm gonna do. I don't think I wanna do a super long set. I feel like a super long set may not last as long as I want it to. So I'm probably just gonna do like a short set like I was gonna get if somebody was coming to do my nails at home. Just because I don't wanna risk making my nails be ugly. And I know longer nails are easier to break off. So I'm just gonna start simple. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and glue the tips on there. Y'all, I'm scared. I'm gonna do exactly what I remember. There. Maybe I should cut it. Maybe I should cut it or something. I don't know you and I do not understand. Maybe I'm supposed to cut it, I guess. I'm guessing that's what they want me to do. So. Why not even come out? Yeah, I Maybe I should cut lower. I doubt it, but it don't.
Y'all, this glue in here is freaking... Y'all, it's legit no glue in here. What the fuck? I hope it's some nail glue in here because if not, my whole experiment is ruined. Okay, y'all, we got nail glue. Okay, y'all, let's start over because they just stress me out. I'm pour some acetone into this cup. I hope it doesn't dissolve the plastic. If this one though, because it comes out, I cut it all the way to the bottom so it comes out messy. So I hope. And this school say max speed, so it better dry at max speed. It's crooked. It's crooked, but I can make it work, so. I'm mad about that glue though, cause, cause why are you not sticking? Like, Got him on one nail. Took hell long, but I got him on one nail. So the next thing that they do is cut. Like I said, I want short nails. So Cut them about right here. I want short square nails. Should I be using clippers probably? Yes, but I'm not.
Major respect to nail techs. How about that? <laughs> Y'all, that nail popped the hell out of me. <laughs> but now, I'm just going in and drilling the nails down so it can be, you know, like, it can mesh with my real nail, basically, so it can be flat. And I'm just trying to go in with the drill and just making sure, like, the nail tip isn't as thick anymore on my real nail. every amount of shine you want to get off the nail so the nail is going to adhere so now i'm going to go in with my primer y'all acrylic primer is so crucial y'all see y'all know they put these on your nails it's so crucial if you want your nails to stay on if you want your nails to pop off in two seconds then don't put no primer but if you want your nails to stay on put primer i swear Now, one of these is called, I honestly don't know, Mo, either monomer or pop, polymer. I forgot, y'all. I took cosmetology a long time ago, and we did nails like our second year, which is my 10th grade year. So, I don't quite remember, but y'all know what's going on. The liquid and the powder. And I think this kit has been used because... It's just giving me used vibes. I don't know. So this is the powder. My nails are all prepped to have acrylic on them. So I'm just opening up the powder. Now this is what makes it stink. I'm gonna pour some of the liquid into the dish. And they they say to put some of this apple fresh stuff in it. It's three drops. So wait, three to five. So two, three, four. So that's enough. It don't smell much like apple to me, but I guess. So now we're gonna go to work. It's really no method to it. You wanna get a ball and try and make it as smooth as possible. If I remember y'all, I took it a long time ago. Yeah, I'm already messing up. <laughs> But one thing about it, doing nails is like doing eyebrows. Honestly, a good foundation is important, but once you like drilling and all that other stuff, it's gonna be what's help you have a nice 
look so i'm not trying to be perfect at the application i mean i do want it as nice as possible but i'm not tripping if it's not perfect if that makes sense apart <laughs> and you really want to focus on that middle get a nice base where your real nail and the fake nail connect try and make it that's gonna be your thickest point of your, of your nail because you want it to be kind of like a if that makes sense So at this point, I have gotten acrylic on all of my nails. So basically, what y'all just going to be seeing me do for the rest of the video right now is just drilling the nails, making sure they smooth and soft. Because the foundation not the best, but drilling it and filing it is what's going to make it more smooth. So literally, that's what I'm about to do for like a good bit of the video for now. So y'all can just watch this or y'all can skip ahead to painting. Y'all see how messy these look compared to these? Like these look so cleanly cut. Y'all know the last thing you do before you paint your nails is buff your nails. This basically just smooths it out and put the finishing touches on the nail. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, the final step is painting and I just decided to go with white. Y'all know that's my color and it's really not much to this. Honestly, I'm just painting the nails. I went in with two coats and a top coat and yeah, that's pretty much it.
right here, I'm just going in and cleaning all the extra crust and nail polish that I messed up on. And yeah, that's it. So basically y'all, this is the next day. I just wanna show y'all what I came up with. It's really not much to this video. They look kind of, kind of jacked up, but let me try and focus. The shape and stuff is actually cute. They a little uneven. The shape and stuff is cute. If I had good nail polish, like gel polish, I'm certain that these would be popping, but they don't look that good but i could get away with this like from far back you can't tell you like i went to the nail shop you know what i'm saying but y'all know i didn't go to no nail shop so yeah i just want to show y'all my nails i do have somebody that i found by the grace of god that could do my nails so i technically bought this stuff for no reason i'm using it on my toes but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this was just like a trial and error type thing and yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next freaking video